to another uh, fabulous edition of Lab Rats, the podcast that uh, makes technology simple and it's uh, slightly funny. A little we, bit cheesy. A little bit cheesy. We tell some jokes and stuff. But today, well, first I'll tell you my name. My name's Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And today on the show, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, printers. Yay. How to buy a printer and what's inside and how it all works and what you should buy and what you shouldn't buy. Sounds good. I'm looking to buy a new one, actually. Are you really? Yeah. What do you have right now? Uh, I've got an old beater. Let's leave, put it that way. Old inkjet or ink? It's old an old inkjet, ink yeah. All right. Well, we'll talk about the difference between inkjets and lasers and all-in-ones and all that kind of stuff when we return. This is a llama. It carries luggage. This is a burrito. It is lunch. This is Camtasia Studio 4. It makes screencasts. Now answer our trivia question. What screencasting tool is not woolly or made of beans? I'll be back at the end of the show with the answer. Well, of course, uh, when you go down the printer aisle these days, I mean, there are a lot of choices. But tons. Tons. But the thing is, prints have really evolved in the last, in the last few years, uh, and it really comes down to, inside the guts of these guys, Two types of technologies. Dot matrix. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's and 1989. One of those little balls that spins around in place and hits the paper. That's impact. No, 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 no. Uh, inkjet, 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 and laser. I've heard of both of these. Right. Okay. So, um, best way to to describe, I guess, the inkjet is essentially, and I did this a food demo on this, you know, uh, in Call for Help. So we don't have the whipped cream today, but imagine a nozzle with, uh, with uh, liquid in it that's superheated, and it goes firing out of the nozzle, and it's really, really tiny, and it basically mm -hmm. splatters uh, ink on a page. But it's very right. controlled, right? Mm -hmm. So essentially, what the nozzle, the nozzle goes back and forth, and well, let's just crack this open here. You can, I'm not sure if you can actually see the nozzle itself, but you can see the toner. So each of these cartridges have different colored inks in them, and mm -hmm. what they do is it basically takes different colored inks and sprays it through that nozzle onto the page itself. Right, so each, uh, each uh, inkjet uh, cartridge that you'll have will actually have a whole array of little nozzles as well that'll form up, a, a, I guess, a matrix. Not a dot matrix, but... But a matrix, exactly. A matrix, so yeah, it'll... Like this, and basically right. it goes back and forth across the page. Right. What's amazing about that is you get super high resolution uh, images, and really the inkjet technology is ideal as a photo printer. Okay, so let's talk about DPI a little bit. What exactly does DPI mean, and how much do you need? Well, DPI dot, dot, it means dots per inch, right? So imagine mm -hmm. a dot of ink. Now, the, these dots are tiny, tiny, tiny. I mean, they're like, you know, smaller than a head of a pin. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you talk, look at the DPI resolution, you're looking at 300 dots per inch on, mm -hmm. a, stand, on a magazine, for example. That's the mm -hmm. standard magazine output and the standard for print in general. However, you'll find that some of these printers, especially the advanced photo printers, are doing up to 400, uh, 4,800 dots right. per inch. I think by, some of them may have even gone past that at this point. At this point. So the idea is you're, you're squeezing more dots or no more points of ink into an inch. And of course, mm -hmm. the more elements of data you have, mm -hmm. the better the resolution is at the moment. Mm -hmm. And you've got two resolutions. I believe you've got one that goes horizontal and one that goes well, vertical. And the right. vertical, I think, is usually a bit less than the horizontal version. That's right, exactly. So you get, some, for example, 4,800 you know, by 3,600 or something, mm -hmm. 2,400 in some cases. It doesn't mm -hmm. really matter. Ultimately, I think it's that first number that's matter because you're basically getting you know, how many dots in a horizontal inch across the page. Right. So, um, so how much do you need to have an image that looks like a photo? You, need, I mean, you probably need some, somewhere in the region of, I, I would imagine, 600 DPI. 600 DPI. To get a decent, you know, resolution mm -hmm. uh, a photograph. Yeah, that's not that's not m that much when they're selling things at 4,800 and above. Right. I mean, you can get a $99 you know, inkjet printer now mm -hmm. for, uh, you know, that does 2,400 DPI right now. So it really is, it's not an issue. In fact, these days, your resolution, unless you're really looking for a super quality photo, mm -hmm. you really don't have to think about it too much. Pretty much every single inkjet on the market is going to give you a great photo quality. Right. So this is sort of like megapixel at this point. You've hit, hit a certain point that's near photorealistic when it's on the page, and anything beyond that is just gravy. It maybe doesn't even mean anything at That's that right. point to your so, eye. You're right, exactly. Your eye kind of sews it all together. Now, there is, I mean, there is a couple of, you know, you can start with a $99 inkjet printer. In fact, I think they're even $49 right now. Mm. Some, some of them you can get for free with the, the rebates. Right, because they make all their money on the toner. But they go all the way, in, in the inkjet world, they go all the way up to about $500. And the idea is the more money you spend on your inkjet printer, the more control you're going to have. You'll have little features like this, which is a little LCD screen, you have uh, like slots this. so you take the, 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 um, the card out of your camera directly mm -hmm. and print directly on there. It has better mm -hmm. controls, better environmental, like a power controls. 
things like that. So it's actually worth, and, and the more money you spend, the faster the print comes out of the machine as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're still looking at, if you want to print out an 8 by 10, you know, you're looking at still about a minute in high resolution, so mm -hmm. you know, high quality, I should say. Yeah, and that, that's one thing that's worth mentioning. No matter what you're looking at, uh, the the pages per minute that are rated on that printer versus photographic output. Oh, yes. Because when you get one of these things, it might say 22 pages per minute, but you're not going to be shooting 22 photographs out there at full mm -hmm. resolution. That's draft quality. Mm -hmm. Now, draft quality basically means very sparse ink, very you know low uh, coverage, that kind of thing. So, right, and that'll likely be a document too with text on it rather than a photograph of any kind. I always did, I always divide uh, that number between four and eight, mm -hmm. especially in inkjet. And, and, and so, I mean, you, you know, if they're saying 22 pages per minute, uh, you know, then, you know, you can basically guarantee it'll be no, no more than four pages per minute mm -hmm. on high quality and probably less than that. Yeah, they tinker with those numbers something fierce. It's right. like ideal conditions, ideal environment, and almost no ink on that page. Now, when you buy one of these guys, um, they have multiple ink cartridges. So you can see in this one here that we have an ink, black ink cartridge there, and then we have one, two, three, four, five different ink um, uh, cartridges, they're very specific to colors. Mm -hmm. And the more inks you have, the more money you pay in toner, mm -hmm. but also, too, the, the better the uh, image quality is. Now, on some cases, for example, this is a multifunction here. Mm -hmm. So we can open this up. And I'll show you that this... Uh, above the control panel. There we go. Right okay, right. there we so, go. Michelle, if you can stick your head in there, or stick the camera in there, you can see here that there is actually two ink cartridges. There is a... Here, Sean. The color cartridge, and there's a black cartridge right there. Right, and that's the the standard uh, for the longest time with color inkjet printers was one color and one black. That's right. And uh, with the new photorealistic printers, uh, they have broken that up into um, multiple colors. Now, one one of the first things that happened was uh, they they took that color cartridge, which contained your cyan, your magenta, and your yellow. And then they broke those off out into three different cartridges so that if you are printing nothing but blue skies, for example, you won't waste all of the cyan or the, the right. magenta and that's uh, yellow. Why, yeah, that, that's why this is fabulous because right. you, know, you do a lot of blue sky printing and this cartridge is going to run out, right? So you just right. pull that out and that's $20 replacement mm -hmm. and put a new one in. And that's yeah, really great. Because the other ones, the all in ones, could be $50, $60. And if you're only printing with one color most of the time, then you're wasting an awful lot of that ink. Absolutely. And uh, some of the new ones that are even more photorealistic will break your black out into grays and will break your uh, shades of color into even more. So you can get eight uh, cartridges in some of these new printers as well. That's right. Um, now, inkjet's not the only technology. I think it's probably the best technology for printing photographs, for, mm -hmm. uh, for keeping, for, and I would say actually the best pho photo reproduction printing technology on the market today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not ideal for if you're in, uh, in business and you want to do a lot of black documents. Mm -hmm. The cost per page is going to go way up because of course the toner is relatively expensive. And you mm -hmm. can be paying up to about 25 cents per page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when you're saying toner, you're meaning the ink. It's I mean, sorry, yeah, yeah. toner is the wrong word, actually. It is actually liquid ink. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about uh, toner in a minute on mm -hmm. the laser end of things. Yeah, and the, the, let's talk about ink, actually, while we're on that topic, about the differences between the two. There's dye-based and there's pigment-based ink. And they're used for two different types of prints as well. Is there? I don't know. Well, if you uh, are printing a lot of photographs and you want them to last a, a lot yes. longer, mm -hmm. then you probably want pigment-based ink. Dye-based ink, if you put water on that, it'll just run off and you'll right. get a smear of colors. Pigment is like ink, like coming from a ballpoint pen. You'll just write it on there so you're get onto the page. 75 or 100 years with the life of, right. out of your Even photograph. 200 years under archival conditions, which basically means putting it in a sleeve, in a temperature controlled environment, out of the sun. In the Royal in Museum box. in London. Right. In so, an air conditioned situation. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, you may have noticed if you printed uh, stuff on the, uh, on a, an old school printer that used dye, that uh, the, uh, print will fade if you have it in the sun. So you put it up on the wall, you know, your and the picture of your on kids, a right. couple months later it's toast. So. Right. Okay. so pigment will help that. Now, let's, so let's get these, uh, this, this guy out of the way because I want to mm -hmm. pull this uh, laser into front and center because people still ask me about laser all the time. You know, should mm -hmm. I buy a laser printer? Is it better? Thank you, uh, Maurice. Thank you, buddy. All right. So the other technology has been around a little longer, actually, I think, mm -hmm. uh, is the laser, laser printer. So the laser printer works kind of like this. So you get uh, there's, there's actually a drum, and there's an electrostatic charge on the drum that uh, basically attracts some ink. There you go. Here's your drum. And repels other ink, mm -hmm. basically using a charge. And what they do is they ro they, it rolls a piece of paper against that to, to take that ink, which is actually your text, right, or your, or your images or whatever, and it gets fused to the surface of the paper using a combination of heat and pressure. Mm -hmm. in, actually, it's pressure in some and heat in the other combination. 
So uh, let's so we'll put that back in, and let's take a, you can see the toner is, looks like a lot different than, uh, ooh, if we can, getting all these things in the right place can be a challenge sometimes. I know. Oh, the ring button, right, if you push this here, we'll open this right. up, reach inside, and as you can see, so there's your toner right now. This is only a black laser printer, mm -hmm. but in here is actually a lot of powder. It kind of looks like black um, soot. Mm -hmm. And this is what uh, gets laid onto the paper when it is printed. Put that back in. So, um, now, laser technology is not traditionally as, but actually it's becoming cheaper and cheaper all the time. You can pick up a, a black and white monochrome laser now for approximately two or three hundred dollars. Yeah, you can even get them lower than that if you're willing to get something that's really, really sort of fly by the seat of your pants. You can actually find them at Staples sometimes for $150. Oh, there you go. Now again, like with the, the inkjet printers, right. you're, you're looking at the money coming in for these companies through that toner. And I can tell you that if you buy a $150 laser printer, that the toner mm -hmm. cartridge that comes with that is not full. In no. fact, the companies play these tricks to get the prices way down on these sort of budget end printers. What they do is they give you a toner with half from the toner or liquid ink in the case of an First inkjet. First one's free, man. That's right, exactly. And that's the idea is they make their money on toner mm. and ink. Yeah, and then you're getting to a point. And paper. Uh, yeah, you're getting to a point uh, at, at this point now where you take that thing home for a certain price, and then when it's time to replace that cartridge, you're paying the same amount to replace the cartridge. That's right. In that. Yeah, so the pricing them the other day is about they're about mm, eighty or ninety dollars to it for a replacement for a single toner cartridge. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the great things about laser these days is that the prices come down on color laser. Mm -hmm. And color laser works exactly the same way, except that you have three cartridges and you just, and, and so different colored inks come out of each cartridge. Mm -hmm. uh, in some cases you have three colors plus black. Right, so um, again, cyan, magenta, and yellow. And yellow, exactly. Yeah. Uh, now the problem with that, of course, is that if it's eighty dollars per cartridge, you know, times four, that's uh, three hundred. What is that? Four eight thirty six. Three hundred and sixty dollars. It adds up. Which is probably more than your low budget printer. But although I have to say that the color laser printers are, um, they are uh, absolutely starting at around three or four hundred dollars these days, and they go all the way up to about eight hundred dollars or so. But I, mm -hmm. but. You get about four pages per minute of color, which is fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, they also you know, give you uh, beautiful business documents, and they're you know, relatively fast. They said against, for mm -hmm. example, the inkjet. And yeah. the cost per page is about two or three, maybe up to five cents per page. Well. Right, so you'll get nailed when you go and get that cartridge, but it'll last you for quite a few pages. So if you're running an uh, inkjet cartridge, you may get 100 pages, maybe, out of something like that. Depends on how much of each ink you're using. But when you're using one of these cartridges in a laser, it's thousands. Yeah, so maybe a thousand, maybe five thousand. All right. On that note, let's uh, pause and we'll be right back with final words. At the top of the show, we asked you what screencasting product is not woolly or made of beans? Is it A, a llama, B, a burrito, or C, Camtasia Studio 4? The answer is. Camtasia Studio 4. Learn more at ces.techsmith.com. All right, well, during the break, we kind of pulled up this uh, color inkjet printer from HP again because I wanted to show you um, this is one of the more handy features of the more of the high end uh, uh, inkjet printers is they come with card slots. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we put an, a an SD card in here, which we've taken out of the Gary's ca Canon camera here. Now, you shot yes. some pictures while early in the show, right? Mm -hmm. So we pulled up a picture there, and as you can see it, we can actually see this on the screen. And I'm gonna push the print button. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna print on this beautifully sparkly uh, photo paper. Now this raises the cost of your prints drastically, and this stuff right. is not cheap, right? No, and you need uh, paper that's specifically formulated for photos uh, in order to get proper photographic reproduction, because the way the ink hits the page and soaks in, uh, if you put too much ink on the page like you would with a regular photograph and you do it on regular paper, it'll just soak and bleed and it'll look awful. So I'm a big believer in buying the same, the, if it's an HP printer, buy HP paper and HP inks. Mm -hmm. I think it's a racket. Right. It's, a, it's a total racket because they formulate it so that it doesn't work with other people's photographic paper. Right. And so I, you have to get locked in. I've tried some non-branded stuff and, and it, the, the, the results aren't as good. They spend a lot yeah. of money investing in the, the paper and the ink and the printer technology together. I agree. It's still a racket. Uh, anyway, any final notes before we uh, call it a day? Yeah, we want to uh, talk about uh, photographs. Uh, send us your photographs oh, yeah. for the big screen here. Right. Um, uh, feedback at librats.tv. Right. Uh, keep them smallish. You can send about 100K, 200K. Don't send a meg. Nothing more than it's, a meg, yeah, please. Yeah, it's, it's not really It'll necessary to send them that big. So we've got one from Corey from Minnesota in the States. Ah. So it's a little bit dark back here, but uh, we'll bring them up on, uh, on the screen for you right here. So uh, he likes the show. 
Great. Well, good to hear. Great. Well, so keep those photographs coming. We love to see you guys and you, your cats and your dogs and your spouses and your, I don't know, frogs. Uh, who knows? Whatever. Send us pictures and send us with you in them, please. Yes. All right. Well, that's it for me. My name is Andy Walker. And I'm Sean Carruthers. And we'll see you next time. Are you ready? Picture is. Oh, look! Your shirt is as loud in here as it is in real life. That's because it's HP Loud branded orange uh, cartridge printer thingy. I think you're your hair? a little bit low on pretty ink. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, it's a little yeah. dull, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, can I sign it? Oh, okay. From Mel Gibson to. No, from Andy Walker. With love. Here you go, Sean. Can I sign Andy Walker too? <laughs> if you like. You probably be able to spell it better. There you go. There you go, there you Gary. Go. Hooray! That'll be $5. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>